guys welcome back to the new video glow in the dark plants on the iss presented by science at nasa the world is changing as greenhouse gases accumulates in the atmosphere global temperature are on the rise sea levels inch upward as polar ice retreats crops are growing in new places the world is changing the question is can life change with it a batch of genetically engineered plants orbiting earth on board the international space station may have something to say about this our environment on Earth is changing, so we need to know how plants respond to know where today, says molecular biologist Annalisa Paul of the University of Florida. Space flight is outside the evolutionary experience of any terrestrial organism. Learning how plants respond to this unique environment can also tell us how plants respond to new challenges on Earth. Paul and colleague Rob Furl and principal investigators of an experiment on the ISS called TAGES. The transgenic Arabitopis gene expression system for the past two years they have been using an experiment growth chamber on board to the space station to grow a garden of Arabidopsis thaliana, also known as tail crest. Cameras captured growth rates, root patterns, and a strange green glow. We genetically modify the plant to glow when it is under stress, explains Paul. This can tell us a lot about how Arabidopsis adapts to the microgravity environment. Learning how plants adapt to new situations is crucial to climate change research. In terms of global biomass, plants outweigh mammals by a factor of a thousand. They are a dominant part of the biosphere, playing a key role in the carbon cycle. Scientists and farmers have been experimenting with plants for centuries. Yet, at a fundamental genetic level, much remains unknown. This is why Paul and Fern have been putting Arabidopsis through its paces. Temperature and drought Most of their work has been done on Earth, but some extremes can only be found in space. Removing gravity from the equation reveals unique aspects of cell growth and development that we cannot discover in any other way, says Fern. The International Space Station is a great place to do this. In a recent issue of the journal Plant Biology, they presented some of Ted's first results. We have seen some things that surprise us, reports Paul. Paul and Fur inserted a glowing reporter gene into the DNA of Arabidopsis that would be triggered by the plant hormone. Oxin. Oxin is important to how plants move and respond to their environment. By watching parts of Arabidopsis light up, they track the progress of the hormone at the cellular level without actually dissecting the plants. We expected to find oxygen in the gravity sensing cells that are at the tip of the root, instead it showed up in the hypocotyls. The stem-like region between the roots and leaves, she says, an even bigger surprise was skewing, a pattern of root movement that on earth helps plants navigate sticks and stones in soil as they search for water and nutrients. Paul recalls being with Rob Farrell and watching some of the first images of Arabidopsis come down from the ISS. Are the rules going? We ask. The pattern was definitely there. It was pretty exciting, she said. This is something we thought only happened in gravity. Paul and Farrell also observed how Arabidopsis used light as a gravity substitute for telling up from down. With lamps shining overhead, roots grew clearly away from the leaves just like on earth.